I fucking have a review of the movie. Do you really? Yeah. I've seen wedding videos that were more clearly photographed than this muddled and decimate turkey. The only cast members worthy of note, and probably the only reason this movie from 1998 is just now receiving a video release, is Jamie Kennedy. Jamie has never been a master thespian, but compared to his work, why is that funny? But, but compared to his work here, his turn and scream looks like an Oscar contender. Scott Weinberg, E film critic, which I don't know what the fuck that is. You know, that's seventy-seven point seven eight percent of users rated it total crap. Yeah. Doesn't that make you want to fucking stab him in the throat? Part of it. And the other part of it is to just sort of run away and hide. You need to relax. I was looking on, you know, stuff to see what press was out on, on myself on the internet. One was a blog, I hate John Lovitz, and just people saying I should be shot and killed and dead, and, you know. But I think that those people are lonely and mentally ill. I am also I was here pushing for you to apologize to the African American community for what you did with that rap album and how much it's torn race relations. And just, honestly, it's an insult. And I was just hoping we could get an apology out of you. We can, because you're black? Critics push buttons. Critics write things to get people's attention. No motherfucker can possibly think that any hip hop or comedy is so important to this world that if it's not good, you must apologize to the black community, the rap community, the hip hop community. It, it's people are writing things to get our attention and make us read this versus that. Jamie Kennedy is a horrible comedian, a horrible actor, a worse musician. He's a rape baby. Uh, he has hepatitis. He has no unique point of view. He should be dragged behind an F-350 in Texas. Yeah. Uh, you called me a wee grow. Yeah. And I'm a horrible comedian. So I don't have any laughs. No, you, you get laughs, but you know, there's really more to comedy than laughs. There's Wh a what is it? original material that people haven't done before. Okay. Yeah. I so don't... what's my material that has been done that... I googled a uh, communion wafer joke mm -hmm. and uh, Safari almost shut down. It got so many hits. I wrote this. This is what I write. I have the control over it that way. That's the beauty. And I get to sit here and write it and piss off people like you. It's fantastic. I that... love every second of it. You're lacking exactly what I tell you you're lacking. Originality? If you can't, yeah. Should if I you come up with come, Rape Baby? Yeah, that's original. That is. What? Let your viewers decide if they've heard someone call it a Rape Baby before. That's different. Well, I have feelings. Yeah, you got a new dark place to go to when you need to cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're just an evil person. Negativity definitely sells. I think that uh, hate, uh, it, it can be a lot more entertaining. The fact that we are so irresponsible in saying anything about anybody just to separate ourselves out is insane. I guarantee you after they write that, they don't think about you. They don't think about what they've written. They're on to the next person or the next thing that they're criticizing. Because you can't thrive on that. That, if you're, if you're feeding on poison, that resentment's the only thing that eats its own container. I can learn to the day I die, and I want to learn. I want to be the best I can be. And in order to do that, you have to listen to what people say. You said you wanted to walk out of some of the mask. Yes. You've never walked out of a movie before? In your no. whole existence? No. My movie was trying to break new boundaries. It was trying what to were have those? A, what were those a baby that had kind of superpowers mm -hmm. that could, like, you know, pick up people and throw them. Yes. That's what it was trying to do. So I don't understand. So you like, mm -hmm. you like the girl with the pearl cufflinks. Anything Ang Lee puts his hands on, mm -hmm. you're all over. Yeah. But you hate Son of the Mask. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why? Because it's not a good movie. I was there the night 
Ace Ventura came out. I was sitting at the dinner table with Jim Carrey, and he read the review from Siskel and Ebert at the table. In the review, it said the worst movie ever made. And Jim just like hung his head, and then he just popped up and he said, screw it. I don't care, man. I made some great comedy decisions. And what's amazing about that review is that it's the first movie that Siskel and Ebert actually went back and took back what they said about it. So what's that tell you about critics? If I'm the guy that shot JFK, I don't get to go back and remove the bullet and say, whoops, I was aiming for the guy at the IHOP over there. It's okay to, to have some constructive criticism, but what I would really like to do is just walk off into your office and like, let's say, let's go, let's get it on. Let's, you know, fuck this, you know, pen and ink and all this bullshit. You know, you got your feelings, I got mine, let's mix it up. You know, and let's, let's see who walks out of the fucking room last, you know? You can't fight people who buy ink by the barrel. You know, they're going to they're gonna have their, their say in court, and, and it affects a lot of folks. Affects, you know, you never get a whack back at the critics. They have critic proof. So I've wrote, like, okay, if you come up here and uh, you fight me, then... Uh, I will kick the shit out of you. <laughs> and uh, actually we have five contenders. So one guy was in Spain already. And then uh, today we have four more fights. So they have a good advantage here. Yeah, for four against one. All the hecklers, all the critics, all the geeks are um, wannabe filmmakers. And as soon as they do something on their own, it sucks. He's one of the most prolific filmmakers out there. Yes, he's shit, but he's prolific. Have you done any boxing before? Never. Never before, never been in a ring. I did not come to kick ass, I came here for the free trip to Vancouver. What do you think about, about Dr. Bull's work? Um, most of his movies suck. The Raging Bull! The Deutschland Destroyer! The two Dr. Bull, because that makes him sound too professional, and I really take offense to that. No, I haven't seen any of his movies, but I heard that they're um, pretty, uh, they're not good. The characters are poorly written. He has no eye for detail. Like I said, I haven't really seen a full movie, but I don't really think that I need to have even seen a full movie to judge it. The only ones that really sucked were uh, House of the Dead, Blood Rain, and Alone in the Dark. Well, his movies are bad, they're terrible, they're awful. They're hypnotically bad. But they're so bad on such a gigantic, huge operatic scale. Teach the critics a lesson? You know, a lot of people say, fuck the critics, and I don't. You know, when I read a well-written uh, criticism of something I've done, or that's some, you know, anything, I always find it really inspiring. You'd have to be retarded to give your feelings to someone who's a professional critic, to allow them to affect your feelings. Nothing has any meaning other than the meaning that you give it. You do that yourself. I mean, that's all on you. You decide. You can take it any way you want. The truth of the matter is that there is a segment of the critical world that is essentially impossible to please and nothing is good enough for them and so very quickly you come to the conclusion that you must ignore them you can't control what they say right think anything else so there's no use no use trying to change it no use trying to lose any sleep over it don't don't go through a lot of anguish over it oh my gosh if i got my teeth fixed and my nose done i would get criticized for it jules a sellout you can't win, it's always something. I saw the cover of a book that, that, that said, uh, what you think of me is none of my business. I live and breathe by that. What you out there think of me, unless you know me, unless I've sexually harassed you in person, what you think of me is real. It's not my concern. I know who I am. I'm Mrs. Rodriguez's son. I'm not the best. 
I'm not the worst. If you kind of trust in your own process, then you can look at criticism that comes in and evaluate it. On the other hand, you can't just be walking around uh, creating on the basis of what other people think about you because you're not going to create anything good. You're just going to be constantly, that's how TV is made. Welcome it as part of the process. You, you just can't avoid it. If you go to bat enough times, you are going to strike out and you will do it cataclysmically. And you know, success and failures are just millimeters apart. You can be depressed for a second, but you can't stop. You can't let that stop you at all. Wait a minute. Okay, I'll take, I'll take this up to this point, but this isn't gonna stop me. I, I've got more to say, and maybe I'll, hopefully I'll learn something from this, maybe, maybe but if, even if not, I'm pushing on. Do what you love and what you're proud of, and you are fucking bulletproof. You're fucking bulletproof. If you do what you absolutely believe to be right, you're fucking bulletproof. There are two kinds of people in the world. There are creators and there are destroyers. I'm actually a lover. And uh, <laughs> I prefer to align myself with the creators because I think they bring something positive to society. You have to be grateful every day that you have this opportunity and be grateful for every single success rather than lament every failure because you have been given a very rare gift to be allowed to succeed in a world that so many want to and few do.